How does segmentation and paging interact on an x86? Well, here's what happens, right? We have the CPU, and the CPU is basically issuing a segment selector and an offset within that selector. That is a logical address. That then goes through segment translation, and segment translation spits out a linear address. Note, by the way, that this logical address is sometimes called a virtual address. That linear address then goes through page translation, and it gives out a physical address. So we have got to look in, in more detail about this, right? We have the selector for the segment along with the offset. This is the logical address. The selector is used to go into the descriptor table. And that has base and limit registers, along with some flags. And so that then will give us a base. So we'll take this base, and we'll take this offset, and we'll add them together. Okay, what does that give us? That gives us a linear address. The linear address is broken up into three parts, the offset, the dir, and the table. The directory then takes us into some particular entry in the page directory, see our three points to that. We have our here our page directory entry. Our page directory entry, again, has some flags and a physical page number. The physical page number gives us the address once we mask off these flags of a page table. The table is an index into the particular page table, which has physical page number and some flags. That physical page number gets added to the offset and that gives us the physical address. We are not going to be doing much with segmentation with the two operating systems we're looking at, XB6 and JAWS, uh, and that's not uncommon. So, in general, we're not going to be doing much as far as setting up the segments. So, mostly we're going to be relying on this page translation. But that is how segmentation and paging interact on an x86.